Hey, my name is Larry, and I'm with Under the Bridge Flies, and we're going to tie a Fisherman's Purse fly here for you. Um, this is a really nice pattern. Um, I posted one of these yesterday, and um, I thought about making them, you know, the BWO or um, PMD colors, so I made this one actually a BWO pattern. Um, we're going to, uh, what I got is a uh, olive body, and then I'm using a slate gray CDC on top there, but we're using a 1560 size 18, and that in there for us. We're using the 1560 size 18 Daiichi. Um, I'm going to use a uh, unit thread, 8 0 and olive. And when you start your unit thread, start back, you know, leave about over a quarter of the front of the hook, up front bare. There's going to be a lot of material sitting up there in this small hook. So we want to. Use as less up there as you can. Anyway, bring your and bring your thread down to the you know just around the corner of the back of the hook there, and then bring it back up to right on the edge there. And I'm just using a regular uh, saddle select saddle hackle, and I'm gonna just grab uh, three or four, and. I'm making these as long as the shank of my hook, so when you tie these in, you want to keep them on top. So. And then you can tie that down and go ahead and go back to the back of the back of your hook right there before the bend. Trim off your extra here. Don't worry about that. We'll uh, get that here in a second. Um, we'll clean it up as we go up. We don't want to, uh, like I said, we don't want to put a bunch of material up there on front. So, so we're going to use an olive CDC to feather. Now that'll be make our body. Um, we can use, like I said, there's just so many variations of this fly that you can tie um, if you're into dry flies and you like to dry fly fish I mean you could really make a bunch of these in a lot of different colors but find you a nice nice long thick CDC feather here you know, and kind of stroke the ends back now we're going to tie this in at the tip but we're going to to get tie in by you want to just uh, throw a loose wrap around it and then one more and then just kind of pull down let your thread weight do the work for you uh, pull that CDC back and just keep pulling back till you get almost to the tip and then you can go ahead and lock it down Bring your thread forward and if you're using if you make these in a white or cream club white or cream I would uh, you know if you put a little zappa gap or super glue on top of this it'll help hold your CDC down for one but also it'll let that black bleed through a little bit if you use a black thread and white CDC actually looks pretty good um, start wrapping your CDC forward and once you get up to where your bear hook was, you still want to leave, you know, that right there a little bit. Trim off your excess there. And you're going to have these, you know, sticking out there. Um, you can leave them in for legs if you wanted to. I'm just going to trim off most of these so 
it makes it a little bit easier to see the fly, the body and everything for this video, but like I said, if you want to leave some of those in for your legs, then I mean, just clean it up a little bit and get your thread back to about a quarter, you know, of your hook. Now, what we're going to put in is, uh, I'm just using a floss, regular uh, unifloss, and I'm using a green for this one. And your, I wet my unifloss that way. I don't, I get a better tie in on it, and, but just go ahead and tie that unifoss in there, and if you got any strands that didn't quite make the cut there, I think I just pulled that one out, so, but you want to get that entire floss, you want to use the whole thing, um, you can use, um, as long as you're using something that's as wide, you see how, you see this, um, you know, when I stretch this floss, you know, it's as wide as my hook right there with the body on it, so, I mean, that's what you want, that's, you really want to, um, not too thin or not real thick either, I tried doing this with a goose bite, and, um, it works, but it doesn't work as good as this, so, now we're going to use some slate gray CDC, um, and what you want to do is you're going to grab you, you know, like four, um, this is hairline it's, um, dubbing incorporated CDC, so, I mean, it's some real good thick CDC, so if um, some of the CDC I get, you know, from, is, you know, a little thin, but this is nice and thick, and that's what you want. And if you got the nice thick CDC, then you want to grab about four of them. And what we're going to do is just stack these on top of each other and lining up the tips. You know, get those tips getting lined. And this just a little bit past your back of your box hook and when you get it to where you want it just grab it on this side go a loose turn and then just kind of tighten it down with another couple turns and you want to keep that on top of this hook I mean it's got to be on top so anyway check your you know make sure you're where you want to be on the back of your hook because now's the time to move it. And just go ahead and lock that down real good. And snip off your extra. And go ahead and clean that head up. So what I was saying, you're going to have a lot of material up here so but I mean if you got a couple bumps in that head it ain't gonna matter so the fish ain't gonna care once you get that in we're just gonna take our floss here keep it all together and you can spin it you know make sure that you got it all together and you want to divide your CDC now so you're getting the same amount on both sides and Kind of a pain sometimes, so once you get once you get your CDC where you like it, and you got about the same amount on both sides, just get a stroke back there and go ahead and capture your floss. And once you get it captured, you can just lock it down real good. And just 
pull my feathers back a little bit out of your way. Take your scissors here and get rid of that extra. Yeah, just uh, clean that head up a little bit. Clean that up a little. And throw your whip finish. do this fly um, you can get all the materials and you can buy this fly at under the bridge flies.com um, I hope you like the video um, anyway that's pretty much all there is to it so if you want to uh, get this fly or get the materials for this fly, come to my website under the bridgeflies.com. And um, if you have any flies that you would, uh, you know, like to learn how to tie, and um, give me a holler, and I'll make a video of them for you. Um, I hope uh, these videos have, you know, help some people out and help them learn how to tie a little bit, but. I'm just going to put a little bit of those out the gap right there. Anyway, that's a BWO, Fisherman's Curse. And, you know, you can really use your imagination on these flies, you know, make a lot of different bugs. Um, black and white CDC would probably make a really good trico on these. You might want to try if you got a trico hatch. So, anyway, thanks. Um, under the bridge flags.com. I um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.